Today I want to show you an awesome tool that Adobe released called Adobe Slate. Now this is a great tool, it's free, they've got this whole section on how it works um, with some examples. Kind of like a website, but it's not a replacement for a website. Very, very templatized, and you can do some cool presentations on it really, really quickly. If you go ahead and click on the Start Now for Free button, you can either sign up for free, creating an Adobe ID, or use your own Adobe ID, again, a free one, you don't have to be paying for Creative Cloud or anything, or you can log in with Facebook. If you go ahead and log in with Facebook, Adobe Slate will ask for some permissions. It's gonna get your public profile and email address, and that's it, it's not going to post to Facebook or do anything crazy like that, so we'll just click OK. Now we can select, yep, I'm in the United States, Click done, I accept the terms, continue, and now I'm all signed in. I think Adobe Slate is a really great tool for people that may not have a ton of design skills or just need to crank out something really fast. So now that we're all logged in, we can click here and create our own story or go ahead and check out some of these examples let's go ahead and create our own story so if we're coming in here and creating something it opens up just like this we'll go ahead and put our title in my awesome title super great presentation while that's done now I can click to add a photo in the back now this is where it gets pretty cool I can either find a file on my computer I can go through my creative cloud Lightroom Dropbox or Google Photos but this find photos thing is kind of nice so if I click on find photos I can just look up anything like maybe food look up food and I can pick any of these images and put them in the background. Uh, if I want to change it, I just click on the background. I can click the focal point and choose where on the image we start looking at. And you can see it's giving me a preview of what it will look like in portrait mode on a phone because this whole thing is responsive. So I'll go ahead and click save on that. I actually don't like this photo, so I'm going to Instead of delete it, I'm gonna just click replace. And instead of food, I'm gonna look up business. Sure, that looks awesome. So now I've got my awesome title right there. So if I start scrolling down, you'll see now I've got this little plus button and I've got all these options. So I'm gonna add text right here. And we're gonna make this centered text um, and start typing this is the best presentation ever. And if I hit enter, it automatically makes another text box right here where I can start typing whatever I want. If I click on the text, you can see I've got some options where I can change it to a quote, uh, bullet points, a numbered list, I can bold, italic, and then change the alignment. So right here, I wanna change this into an H1 tag. So if you know anything about WordPress or HTML actually, uh, this is very, very similar to how WordPress does its formatting. It's just using HTML elements. So an H1 is a header one tag, H2 is a header two tag, it's a little bit smaller. So those are the options that you have so not a lot of options here but there's still the options and I'm gonna just say this is the best presentation because I don't want that word to drop down obviously it will change depending on what screen size you're on let me go pick up some lorem ipsum bacon so this is my favorite lorem ipsum it's a meatier version so I'm gonna say give me some bacon We'll just copy and paste this over. And then in here, I'm gonna put in my lorem ipsum bacon, just cause I need some text in here. So I like the left column alignment, so we'll go ahead and do that. So now I can go ahead and click this button here and keep adding on things. So maybe I want a photo grid. And yeah, I still wanna stick with the business theme, so I'm gonna just start clicking. I want this photo, this photo, and as if you look, it's automatically adding all these photos in and I can move them forward, make them larger photo, replace it. So I want that one to be a large photo. Eh, I don't want that to be large. I want it to be a small photo. 
and I want to move it all the way to the left this one I want to the left and this one I want to the left so uh, it changes the order of how these images lay out but no matter what you do it's always going to put them in a perfect grid so you don't have a lot of control uh, over the images but it automatically does really great things with the images so we'll click Save now I've got this image gallery right here looks really great so we'll go ahead and add a link and say check out my portfolio and then we want that to be a centered button and we'll make it a link to our portfolio ag bountiful.com slash portfolio and then go ahead and click save so we've got a button now that says check out my portfolio now the next thing I want to do is go ahead and add in a glide show now what a glide show is is a series of images uh, that have a nice parallax effect so we'll go I want one we'll do this one here I don't like that image delete that image we'll do paper clips and this one so then save that so once I save that you'll see that what a glide show does is it essentially as you scroll down it has a nice parallaxing effect and then it's got these little containers these boxes that are just like the other containers and boxes so I can go ahead and add in a video how to pronounce Wacom I'm gonna copy that link and put it in right here and click Save and I've got my link right here so now we'll go ahead and add some text to pronouns Wacom not Wacom not Wacom it's Wacom you can watch the video it's great uh, add in the text this I'm gonna make it bold an h2 tag so not bold okay so that's awesome we again you can adjust the focal point on the background so by clicking here it gave me the option of editing the photo and doing all that so now we've got that cool thing some text on this and if we do right alignment or centered we should be able to do that um, and then you can take this box and actually move it around so if you drag and drop it somewhere I want this one to be on the right hand side I want to put an image at the top so let me put an image of a cat let's see if they've got some good cat images yeah that's a great cat right there perfect so now I've got this glide show it comes down you got the images changing back over here I've got the video link on the right hand side we've got the cat The presentation is done. Now all I need to do, like if I want to do, I can go into the themes. And this is where you don't have a whole lot of options. These are the themes that you've got. You can't change the fonts. Like you just can't change what font it's using or anything like that. You just pick a theme and it goes for it. So we'll go ahead and use this theme here. Automatically applies to everything. So you can see all my text is changed. And they've paired up the fonts fairly well. So. Um, no matter what you do you really can't make something that looks bad now if I go ahead and click preview here is what the presentation will look like so I can come in here click on any of these photos and scroll through I've got my portfolio that if I click on this it'll tell you it'll open up the link to the portfolio scroll down we've got our glide share here so I click that plays the video full screen um, got my cat picture 
my other cat picture and then the video at the bottom and then this link will obviously open up in a new tab. So uh, then the other thing that Adobe Slate does is if you use that find photos section, uh, it will automatically put all of the attribution to any of the photos uh, that you need to attribute to here at the bottom. So you can see these are from public domain pictures and it puts in all the attribution and then it has made with Adobe Slate. If you use your own photos, obviously it won't have that, but they've got a great photo library and as a free resource, all this at the bottom, not a big deal. Just makes a really great looking presentation that works on multiple platforms. So we'll go ahead and close this and then click the share button. So if, when you're ready and you're done with your presentation, you can click share. And if I wanna put the attribution in, you can click yes, or you can click no. So then you've also got this option here to make it public. So in the public one, it's basically for everyone, but if you take that off, then it's private. So now we can select a category. Um, we'll just say other on this, photo credits. You can go ahead and edit any of the photo credits in there if you'd like. They automatically credited the people, so don't delete those, but if you're using other photos that you need to credit, this is where you would put those. And then if I click publish, it'll go through this little loading process. Now I can send this link to anybody. I can embed it on a website. Now what the embed does, all it does is it puts a thumbnail of your very first slide with my awesome title or whatever over the top of it. Uh, and it's a clickable link that then takes you to this link. And then you can email it, tweet it, or share it on Facebook. But everything basically takes you to this link. So then if you go to this link, it loads up and you have the presentation. Now one of the things uh, is here at the top, it does say Adobe Slate, create your own. But for the most part, this is a really, really great tool. Oh, and let me show you one more thing. Um, let's go back into Adobe Slate. Let's say I want to change some things. So if we take this text, I can drag it to the top and it's automatically gonna snap to one of nine positions. So you've got these nine different positions and you can see that background automatically changes that shadow so your text will always be really good and visible no matter what you do then if you make any changes you just click share again click publish and it will update everything now if we go back to adobe slate from the dashboard you can see i've got the share or the open button and i can click up here i can duplicate this if i need to make a similar presentation with just a few different things or I can unpublish it or delete it. It also gives you how many people have liked it and how many people have viewed it. If you need to send out a presentation to somebody, this is a fantastic alternative to something like say PowerPoint or a slide deck. Let me show you what this presentation looks like on my phone. All right, so on my phone I got the email and if I just click this link, it loads up really quick and now I've got this my awesome title, this is my presentation. I can click on any of these links and I can swipe through the photos. Go ahead and close that, click the portfolio. It's just super smooth. If I click on the video, it, that pops up and I can play the video. We'll go ahead and close that. Keep scrolling down, you can see the transitions are like really nice and smooth. And then you've got all the attributions and stuff at the bottom. But yeah, this is just really, really a fantastic tool that is free. I'm not sure exactly what Adobe's planning on doing with all of this stuff, but for now, just go ahead and sign in through Facebook or whatever free Adobe ID you create. You don't have to pay anything to have access to this. I hope you found this useful. This is definitely not a replacement for a website but it is a replacement for any sort of presentation. Maybe a presentation for school or a presentation to a client or something like that. This is an easy way to create something really fast that's high quality and works across devices. Hey, thanks for watching and we'd love to hear your feedback, whether it's positive or negative, so we could continue to improve our channel. And as always, like, comment, and subscribe.